Did you hear about the rose that grew from a crack in the concrete? Proving nature's law is wrong, it learned to walk without having feet. Funny it seems, but by keeping its dreams, it learned to breathe fresh air. And long live the rose that grew from the concrete when no one else ever cared. I remember sitting on a porch with my friend Denzel. I had just bought a guitar, and I was excited to show my friends what I learned on it. I'm starting to play the song, and I'm feeling really confident about it. I look out the corner of my eye, and I see my friend smirking. I said, what's funny? He says, you're doing it wrong. We started playing something that we made up, and we agreed that we liked that tune better. This was one of the moments of confirmation that my life was changing for the better. I felt better about myself, more than I had in a long time. Not long before, I had been through some of the worst problems, problems no child should have seen or experienced at a young age. I had been through depression, loneliness, and anger for a very long time. When I was 12 years old, I moved in with my father and two brothers. I didn't want to move in because I was comfortable with my Aunt April. At first, things were going okay, but then I started to realize how beneath everyone else I felt in the house. No matter what happened, my father would side with my younger brother over me. My brother would lie and say I hit him. My father wouldn't listen to me and would think that I was lying. I was hurt because my father was who I looked up to. I didn't understand why he would never believe me. I noticed he had better relationships with my other brothers, and I was always the victim in every situation, even if I was provoked to react. I felt targeted by my family, and I felt like I had no one to go to. When school started that year, I met a kid named Davon, and he seemed pretty cool to me. He and I started hanging out a lot. He used to smoke weed, and I decided to try it with him one day. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would, but it was a way to get my mind off my situation at home. I would get into fights with a lot of people for the most unnecessary reasons. I was angry all the time. I tried my best to stay away from home. I was arrested for fighting someone that did nothing wrong to me. I was doing all this to try and ease the pain of not wanting to be alone or targeted. One day soon after that, I was walking home from school and out of pure coincidence, I thought about my friend Ralph and wondered how he was doing. When I reached my apartment, one of my friends came to me and said, you know Rez got killed, right? That was Ralph's nickname. I got upset and told him that he wasn't, and I was just with him Sunday. I walked past him and went in the house. I walked into my father's room and he told me the same thing. He told me that he was shot in the stomach by a policeman because he was carrying a gun. I couldn't believe what I heard. My friend is dead. I couldn't get the thought of him crying out of my head. It almost made me yell. I wanted to literally disappear and forget the world. I moved in with my mother and hoped that being somewhere rough wasn't would help me get over the pain. I wanted things to be like the way they were before I started hanging out on the streets. Eventually I had help dealing with the depression because of my family and friends and me reconnecting with my faith. I was able to hold my head high again and think of my past with a feeling of pride because of what I've been through didn't stop me. I took actions to make my life better. I started going back to church and reconnecting with my faith. I started talking and spending time with my father and little brother. I could look forward to life and have a better understanding of what experience is to come. If I had to compare my life to anything, it would have to be learning an instrument. You start off a bit rough, Things seem to be getting frustrating, and sometimes you want to give up. You begin to pick things up along the way, and you realize how it affects the people that listen. Eventually, you pick up your own sound, and people will notice the unique style that you have. The movements on the instrument affects the sound that you present. When your song is over, people will remember the brand of music that you've given to them. In life, you may want to give up when things get hard for you. Giving up isn't the answer to anything. You should look for the reasons to want to live and succeed because every bad situation will end. You have to find the courage to want to go on. This will make you stronger. You will see the new person that you have become. You have more of a connection of who you are because of where you've been. The life you live is how people will remember you. They will remember the courage and strength you had to change the situation that you were in and you overcame what others couldn't.